Chasing perfection is something that's easy for us to get caught up into when we're spending hundreds and thousands of dollars for these dolls. Um, a lot of people come into this hobby and they don't have a clue on the price range of these dolls. Um, especially with all the scams out here, the fake sites that showing like amazing artists work um, and advertising them for $99.99 or $49.99, which is far from what you're going to get when you receive that doll. Um, I was actually in the hair salon um, maybe two years ago before the pandemic started. And um, one of the ladies was talking and I don't know how the subject came up. I think it was because the hairstylist that was doing my hair brought up that I, what I do that I, you know, I paint and collect life like dolls and one of the ladies were like oh my gosh really i tried to buy my daughter one off of this website and basically they held her money up for like months and months it had been over six months and she finally started canceling it so she never even got her doll um and then um some of the people that i've, I've heard actually got one but it was nothing like the photo of course because the photos that they're showing is not their work it's um, actual just regular, you know, artist uh, work. So anyway, um, the so it's easy for us to be like, oh, I want this, I want that, I want this, I want that in a doll. Especially not considering cost. Sometimes people have these high expectations with a very low budget. Um, and sometimes you can get those things for a low budget. That's you know, those great deals, great buys, rare occasions that you find that. A lot of times when you want extreme realism and a lot into your baby, you're gonna pay for it because people put their time in it. And I say this because I have collected from every single level, I think. Um, the only dolls that I haven't really had, and I had one that would could be sit, considered as a fantasy baby, but it was painted like a human baby, but it was an elf doll um, sculpt. Um, but that's the only area I have not went into, and I probably won't because it's not my thing. However, I've seen some that I've admired the artistry in it. Um, so I respect those who collect those, but it's just not my thing. But I say that because like a lot of times, like if I'm talking about different sculpts, I may say little things and sometimes I have to reel myself back in and say, hey, you know, just like when I wasn't painting, I used to have so much to say about, you know, different artists work like, oh my gosh, like why can't they just get this part right? Or why don't they do this? Or why don't they do that? And as you start painting yourself, once you paint yourself, you start to realize just how hard it is. Or just how complex it is to get the realism in the dolls or just the simplest thing as skin tone even um so when I hear people like oh this doll don't have veins this doll don't have this and I, and I say that sometimes too because especially if I'm spending a lot of money I'll be like oh gosh they didn't even put a pimple on the baby you know type thing I have to take myself back the notch and say you know what the skin tone was so amazing and so flawless and so realistic. It takes so much to even just get to that point. That's worth a lot all by itself. Everything beyond that point is just extras. Um, and I'm just being honest. This is really, really how I really, really feel at the end of the day. There's also when it comes down to sculpting, I am very, very particular about sculpting I won't lie about that that probably won't bend as much however let's say for instance I'm, and I, I brought winter in here for this so um winter is the Louisa sculpt by Lillian Breville an addition of like 15 I think um she's she's a limited edition she has so I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you guys the parts that I don't particularly think is 100% great. Um, 
I think this is one of my favorite Lillian Breville sculpts. I think she kind of got close to everything. Like Lillian Breville don't typically do like a super realistic um, bum bum or, you know, girl bits. Her boy bits are, are realistic, but the girl bits usually be just like a little slit. I think she actually has a little bit better one, but it's not. And I know people are like, oh, why is that so important? Well, when you're spending thousands of dollars for a lifelike sculpture, you want all of it to be super real. Some of you guys may not care. Yes, they're going to be in a diaper most of the time. I ain't spending that much time looking at that part. But when I do change their diaper and stuff, I do like when they look super realistic. It just, it's just a form of more realistic realism in the art and what I paid my money for um a lot of times her bum bums is really about the same like a little triangle booty with a slit um and she's different babies she's gotten better she does it um she's I seen her recent one was more realistic um but here's the the good parts about her sculpts and I'm and I'm speaking specifically about Louisa right now She's very proportioned. Her head size matches with her body really well. And, you know, I had that trouble where I struggled a little bit with one of the other sculpts where the head was a little bit too small for me, in my opinion, for the body. But once you put hair on it and stuff, it kind of works. Anyway, um, but this one, very proportionate, beautiful hands, beautiful feet. I love the way Lillian does her legs. Um, she actually, I actually, she actually does probably some of my most favorite legs, actually. Um, when I got Puck, that, I love Puck legs, like actually even more so than some of my other favorite sculptors. I love the way Lillian does her baby legs. To me, they really, really give me that newborn, newborny legs look. Um... These hands are some of my favorite hands, but I always love Lillian um, hands. She has a nice torso. The body style sometimes can be a little long and a little different and not my favorite. But this one, I really liked her body style. Um, she always does nice ears. Her faces, the expressions is usually very cute, very expressive, very realistic. Something about them make you want to giggle a lot of times. Um, it's like she catches all the different funny expressions. So, <clears throat> overall, despite the little things that I might say, oh, I wish this. I'm not a sculptor. I can't sculpt. If I sculpted something, <clears throat> sorry. Guys, I was eating peanuts. Don't laugh at me. Parched peanuts. And I didn't drink a lot after. Anyway, so, um, but yeah, so she, so overall, like the, the baby looks more realistic than a lot of even, a lot of the sculpts is out in the market. Not putting down other sculpts on the market because there's different levels of sculpting. Some of these people are just starting out and just really getting into the groove of things. And they're going to get better over time, most likely. If they're really passionate about their work um, and I support them as well um, but I think that you know when you you're in the money brackets <clears throat> if I'm gonna pay a decent amount for a scope I do you know you guys know I love hands and feet it's a big to-do for me so I, I need the hands and the feet um, face can be Cute, I, I like cute now, but I want it to be realistic more than anything. So if it's cute and dolly, I don't want it. I'd rather ugly and realistic. That's just me and my personal preference. Um, the navel, I love the way she does belly buttons. And I'm, I should have shown that while she was here. Like, I really like Finn belly button, like, I think the most. But I like hers too. Like, she always does, like, the cutest little belly buttons. Let me see. I'm probably in the camera. Let me see. Can you see her belly button? You can't. Hold on. Uh, let me see. I'm going to zoom in. 
Try to zoom in. Let me lean over, baby. A little belly button. I don't know. But her belly buttons are really cute. Um, I, 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 I love that. Um, so I, sometime if we, we were looking for everything to be checked off on the box, we'll spend a lifetime waiting or we'll never be happy with a baby because we're expecting perfection and there's no such thing in this art. Even with painting, there's babies that I love their painting so much, but there are things about them that I'm like, gosh, I wish you would have just painted this a little less this or a little more of that. Um, we just, this is art. It's handmade. There's, there's no way everything is going to be extremely perfect. And we're not the ones doing it. So our vision and our thought and what's familiar to us may not be familiar to the other person. Um, then we have different cultures, nationalities, whatever. I don't know, probably saying it's all wrong. But if we're in different parts of the world, I know you guys don't believe this, but some babies, you know, there may not be as red as us down here with all this hot sun, you know. If, it, if it's super, the climate is super cold there, most people are more probably pale than, than, than dark. You know, it's just all different types of things. Um, the sculpts, there's... Um, black babies body uh, structures is different built different sometime than maybe a white baby a Caucasian baby um, it's just so many different things going to play it depends on what they use for inspiration you know but it's so many different options out here to where we don't have to harp on what we don't like and we can really celebrate what we do like and I am making this video because I know that I've said in the past different little things about different sculpts, different arts, um, paintings, and I just want to say at least once in a video that I do appreciate each and every baby that I have collected or sculpt that I have collected because it takes a lot to do both painting and sculpting. Um, I think even more so sculpting than painting. In my opinion um, I think that over time one can teach themselves to do a decent doll I mean it's, if the sculpt is beautiful sometimes all it takes is a little blush you know um, it doesn't take as much as a sculpt that if that is not as detailed you may have to paint things the details in um, some Sometimes people overdo things, um, in my opinion, like they overdo the wrinkling. Like people were first talking about wrinkling of the silicone. People start sculpting the wrinkles in. Well, babies are not always wrinkled when they're straightened out, the wrinkles go away. So it becomes unrealistic with the extra folds and wrinkles. And, you know, um, even with the painting, some people are very highly skilled at doing all different techniques and they like to put it all in one baby. And sometimes it's just too much and the baby just look overly paint, over painted. Um, I've done it before. I've over painted a baby to where it's like, oh my gosh, what did I do type thing. Um, sometimes less is best, especially when you're dealing with silicone, less is best sometimes. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, so we, we chase this perfection that doesn't exist and sometimes you miss out on a lot. So I'm really, like I said, I'm really, really excited, um, to see what 2022 is going to bring out because we've we've just seen some amazing sculpts. I think some people have scaled back a little bit because of with all the scamming and all that stuff, but I'm hoping that artists realize that there are so many of us that's gonna support the authentic sculpts and are going to support their work. And we're gonna only buy authentic sculpts that they are gonna still, you know, be you know, just as successful, even though people are scamming off of their work. I know it's heartbreaking, but at least you still can make a good living and we will continue to support. And there will be always us that's continuing to advocate for others to see the importance of supporting authentic sculptors and um, 
yeah and um so yeah so that's that's that i just wanted to to come out and say that and i and i also want to say this one other thing too um i don't have long for my battery go dead again on me because i didn't let it fully charge um some some babies are like even less perfect than even say like a Lillian Breville sculpt um and they don't like have like like they'll have a really pretty face and they might have okay hands but really nice feet the body style might be nice but I don't know what it is about people <laughs> sculpting bomb bombs or um the the girly bits or whatever um, I don't know if they're afraid to just go there, let their mind just go there and, and do it, or if they just can't, or I know a lot of people have a hard time doing bodies, like the actual bodies. That's why a lot of sculptors are still in other sculptors' bodies and using them on their sculpts, but we can go get into that today. Um, but sometimes you get a, a baby that maybe just kind of generic in the body area, but the arms, the legs, the face is beautiful, ears, all that stuff is beautiful. And the body is just basic, not to the point where it throws it off completely. Like if it, if the baby looks good in a diaper still, I've gotten to the point where I'm kind of okay with that. You know what I mean? Like if it's still, if it looks good in a diaper, if I could put it in a diaper and it looks good with no shirt and I could still put it in a diaper, I'm okay with that. Um... I'm not okay with it if they're charging me the same amount as somebody that sculpts like on a very high level of realism, then I'm not okay with that. <laughs> I'm not going to pay you that price if you're not there yet. I'm here to support you as you grow, but listen, let your prices grow with your skill set, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, so I I am not like one to be like, oh no, 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 no. But then also I think sculptors and artists have to also be okay with people saying, okay, you know, I might do a video and I might be like, oh, you know, I love this baby. This is not as realistic as, you know, some of the other ones, but I really love this baby. That's not really like tearing you down or taking away. It's just being honest because other people are looking to buy your sculpts. And if you have a person that's giving honest feedback on your work, that that potential buyer may not be deterred from buying from you. They may actually still buy a lot of times they will still buy but they go in knowing what to expect and that way you're not getting buyer's remorse if i came over here and said oh my gosh you know oh she's so cute and she's got the cutest little tushy but i never show it to you guys and you guys run and go buy the doll when you get it you're gonna be so upset you're gonna be upset with me you're gonna be upset with the sculptor you you probably want to return it if it's something that's important to you but if i say okay overall and you can look at her and see she's a very realistic baby, but she doesn't have the most realistic tushy or, you know, whatever. But guess what? When you run and go get that baby, you already know. I'm going to buy this baby the cutest diapers there ever was because she don't have that much of a tushy. And I'm going to make her little bum bum stick out when she gets in her little baby pose and she's going to look so cute. And they don't care. Actually, that person that gave a re honest review on your doll actually saved you from the buyer's remorse and all the extras that people come back with. This is why, you know, sometimes people write me and they ask to buy one of my dolls. And if they're like, oh, like they're struggling to pay for it or what, I say, you know what, baby? Wait till the next one. Save up. Now you know what my price range is. Save up. Don't don't force don't don't push yourself into this. You know, sometimes I really need the money, but I'm not willing to to put a collector in a bad spot just to make money for myself, just simply because I don't want them to get my doll and nitpick it to death because they really couldn't afford it. Or get it and then, you know, be mad because um, oh, you put a bump on the nose. I didn't see that, you know, and then they want to return it. Like, I don't want to deal with that. So I want people to be happy 
all the way around. So I don't, you know, I, I feel like we need more honest reviews and stuff. You know, I, now don't, don't be overly like pick, nitpick, nitpick. Like I try, like I said, I try to tell you guys the pros and the cons. I try not to harp on the cons when I do a review because, I mean, we also know that, well, I know from painting that I'm very sensitive about my work. And I really don't want to hear bad critique, but sometimes it's needed. You know what I mean? Um, I don't want to hear it. It hurts. I ain't going to lie. It hurts. But does it make me want to do better the next time and the next time? Yes. And then there's a way, you know, of course I'm on a platform. So of course my, my conversation is public and it is out loud, but usually if it's something really, really bad, I'll write them personally. You guys don't know how many sculptors I've wrote personally and said, Hey, I loved your work on this one, but blah, 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 blah. And they say, Oh my gosh, I was wondering, was that a little off or you know what, I was thinking the same thing or I didn't know or okay. And then the next one going forward, like boom, better. You know, not that you should be all ready to people inbox. <laughs> See, and that's the thing, like you say stuff out here and some people take it to this stream and then it ruins it for everybody. But I'm just saying that overall, this art is not perfect. We have to learn to start to accepting it for what it is. It's handmade art hand painted art and we have to start supporting those who are passionate that are pouring their hearts into their work and I mean if we love it we can't be also like worried like oh this is not the most popular doll oh so and so don't think this is top notch so I don't want to buy this brand because this is not a big brand I need to look for something that's made by this artist because this artist is who everybody's hollering about. Everybody's talking about this artist or everybody's talking about this sculptor. Um, we, we can't do that. We can, but if you do, you miss out on a lot. So anyway, that is all I have for you guys today. I know I talk a lot, but hey. It is YouTube. So I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you join me on Instagram. It is Miss Serenity underscore Smith. That is the place where I post the most pictures of my dolls. And I just hope that you guys all hit that follow button and follow me. Click the bell if you want to be notified when I do post. Maybe it gets annoying sometime if I post a lot back to back. Um, but definitely the follow button is nice. Um, I'll see you guys later.